In this video, let's work on case number two. How do I know that we're working with the case number two for partial fraction decomposition? Well, even though this factor is linear, x minus three, and the second one is also linear, which is x minus four, the second one is linear squared. And that's where the case number two steps in. We're going to break this integral into several integrals, which is going to be a over, we know how to do linear part, a over x minus 3, that's going to be my first piece, plus, we know how to do linear part, so it's going to be b over x minus 4, but since x minus 4 repeated twice, basically you kind of can see it as x minus 4 times x minus 4, then I will write down one more piece, which is going to be c a, B, C, or you can do A1, A2, A3, and that's going to be X minus 4 squared. And now you can imagine if it was not squared, but it was, for example, to the 7, you will keep going with the D2 cube over uh, X minus 4 cube plus E to the 4th and so on until your alphabet finally reaches the needed exponent that's why sometimes people like using a1 a2 a3 not to be bothered with the alphabet and now we repeat the whole process we did before uh, uh, for previous cases which is we're ditching the integral for now and working with equations see how i'm going to speed up the process i know what my next step is i will multiply by this denominator and everywhere so left hand side will be x squared like i don't have to actually keep writing it but in my mind i remember what is happening this equals to a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 4 plus c over x minus 4 squared that's what's happening now each piece will be multiplied by x minus 3 times x minus 4 let's fix it to uh, the second power so I will only multiply by pieces which are missing. x minus 3 will cancel out with x minus 3. So x minus 4 squared is the piece which will stay. And that will make it a equals x minus 4 squared. Did you see what just happened? I did multiply by x minus 3 and that x minus 3 canceled out with x minus 3. I just don't want to keep writing it. That's how I want to teach you how to speed up the process. But the second case, x minus 3 is the needed piece and 1 of x minus 4. The other one will be cancelled out with the square piece, as you can see. So I will have plus b x minus 3 x minus 4. Finding the last piece will cancel out the part x minus 4 squared so only x minus 3 is the extra piece plus c x minus 3 and that's my equation with three unknowns and i need to solve it for a b and c let's do it again you can do two ways either collecting terms or the guessing way i can do both in this video to show you the difference which one is faster so the guessing one, so way one, it's not always the best way to be honest, but very common that this way is faster. Let's just guess nice numbers. For example, I want to plug four because I can see it uh, in several places. X equals four gives me four times four, 16 equals zero plus zero plus C multiplied by four minus three, which is one. That gives me C right away. C is 16. Put it in the box. Now, I will plug something more. For example, 3 is good, right? 3 times 3 is 9 equals A. Now, 3 minus 4 is minus 1 squared. Let me write down for you, which is just 1. Then 0 and 0. That gives me A right away. A is 9, because minus 1 squared is just 1. What was the last thing you want to plug? So we did 4, we did 3, we can do 0, or you can do something like 7, 5. 5 will be probably easy to calculate. Uh, 0 is fine too, why not? Let's do 0. 
So any other, we need three inputs to solve for three unknowns. That's for you to understand. That's what we're doing here. So we're going to have, for example, 0. 0 equals uh, 4 squared, 16a. And you can change a and c right away if you want. 0 and 0 gives you b multiplied by 3 minus 3 times minus 4. That's 12, positive 12, right? And finally, minus 3c. But we know a and b, so let's rewrite it. A equal, we know a and c. a is 9, 16 times 9. We don't know b, so 12b. But we know c minus 3 times 16. And that's how we can solve for the last unknown b. b is minus 8. I just checked my notes. It's not like I'm a super fast calculator <laughs> person. But... Uh, should be good. So we have 9 minus 8 and 16. And this completes our integration in 5 seconds. So it's going to be integral becomes a is. And you know I, will, I like doing this. I already told you. 9 kicks out outside. dx over x minus 3. That was a. b is minus 8. dx x minus 4. And C is 16, which is dx over x minus 4 squared. Now, the first two are, again, natural logarithms. We know that. So the first two will be 9, natural log, absolute value, x minus 3. Absolute value here is important. Minus 8, natural log, x minus 4. We know that. Don't forget to divide by the leading coefficient. Is there any? And what is happening with 16 with the last integral? So let's keep it in mind what is happening there. Let's do it separately. 16 integral. You should see it this way. It's x minus 4 raised to the negative 2 dx. Using u substitution, you can either do a shortcut of u substitution or you know how to do your substitution. If you know the shortcut, the shortcut looks like this. If you want to know, if you have ax plus b to the n dx, integral will be ax plus b, like we normally integrate pow using power rule, n plus 1 over n plus 1, and then undoing chain rule means divide by the leading coefficient. Let's use up shortcut which I was able to memorize even with a bad memory. But if you don't want to memorize it, then just perform u substitution. This is going to be u, du will be 1 dx, and so on. But using shortcut, I can say now that the answer will be 16. Yeah, and actually I can just write it over here right away. 16. Now, x minus 4 raise the exponent by 1, so minus 2 plus 1 gives you minus 1, divide by that new exponent minus 1, and also divide by the leading coefficient, that's 1 over 1, because leading coefficient is 1. So actually it's going to be minus 16 divided, let me write down here, 16 x minus 4 to the minus 1, divided to minus 1 plus c. And here I will make it pretty. It's going to be minus 16 divided by x minus 4 plus c. And that is the answer. Not to make video too long, I will show second way in uh, part b. But this is how you solve for fast and convenient. The integral using u shortcut u sub shortcut u sub shortcut and uh, really fast finding all the coefficients using nice guesses again guessing is kind of pretty interesting and the idea here that this equation just like i mentioned in my previous video this equation holds for any x and that's why we can have nice convenient guesses and uh, these guesses help us to find a, b, and c, since equation holds anyways. You can plug anything you want.
Great job for watching.